I rolled some slabs the other day, and I beveled the edges of those slabs when they were wet, uh, and now they are leather hard. So they're standing up on their own, they're not flopping on me. I don't need to do a lot of messing with them, but um, they stand up fairly well. They are not very easy to bend. In fact, if I forced them to bend, they would start to crack, so I'm not going to do that. Um, the reason to use leather hard slabs on a box is because they do stand up. These are fairly small, but you can get them to stand up at leather hard if they're, you know, seven or eight inches tall. Um, these are some slabs that I, threw, I rolled a little bit later in the day just to catch up with, uh, I, I didn't have quite enough. And one of the things you see, actually, is that they're starting to curve just a little bit. There's a little bit of a gentle curve there. Slabs will, if left out, uh, uncovered, the top will dry first because the bottom is against the board, so the air kind of, you know, evaporates water out of them from the top. That means the top shrinks a little bit and they can start to warp up. These ones I covered up with a board fairly quickly. These ones I didn't, and so they're starting to warp just a bit. So I've flipped them over and just given them a little pressure down. If you're leaving your slabs for very long, I recommend you either put a board on them to dry or you leave them covered to dry. So I'm going to bevel the edges. The other day on the, these ones, I showed you how to bevel with this tool. We've got a couple of other types of tools as well. All of them do the same kind of thing. So we've got a 90 degree angle on this orange one and on the wooden one, and we have a, a wider angle on, these, on the back side. This one's also the same kind of deal, and I'll show you all three of these today. So I'm going to start with the orange one. I want the 90 degree angle because I'm making a box that's all 90 degree angles. I'm going to line up the bottom of the orange part with the uh, board, and I'm going to drag that tool, oops, dra drag that tool across. I said oops because I dragged a little bit of the clay with it, but that's all right. Um, and then I can turn this whole thing and do the same right here. Now, since this is a leather hard slab, I don't mind picking it up and moving it. If it was wet, I'd want to keep it put steady. I'd want to keep it there and just move the board around to get to the different sides. I can also use the uh, wooden uh, tool. This one, one of the things I noticed is that this wire tends to want to slide off. So it's not a bad idea to hold that wire tight on the back Oops, and get the paper out of the way and drag it the same sort of way. I was finding that when I didn't hold on to the back and I went to drag it, sometimes that wire will fall off. Didn't that time, but sometimes it'll fall off so you can get, get it held on there. This tool is the same kind of deal, it's just, uh, it looks a little different. So what I'm going to do, and, and you do it from the other angle, I'm going to line up this edge here, this bevel matic here. This is the blade that's at the 45 degree angle. And I'm going to line up this side here and drag the whole thing back along uh, my, my, sla uh, my slab that I've rolled out. Right? So, yeah, it's probably not my favorite, but, uh, but it's perfect. that's what it's for. It's a perfectly reasonable tool if you get used to it. Probably works a little, this one probably works a little bit better on slabs that are a bit drier. I'm going to switch back to the orange one because that's my favorite. And I would buy us more orange ones, but last time I tried, they were out of stock. So you can share around the orange one, um, or there's a bunch of wooden ones. All right, I've got my bevels almost all cut. These can just go set aside. And then I want to show you where these came from. These were in the top drawer. I've got a whole bunch of these uh, beveling tools. We've also got the rollers in the top drawer. And then basically everything else here is for is stamps and various things for making textures, which we'll talk about in a separate video. But the, the slab beveling tools are here and the rollers are here. I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to put this box together.